This one here, this is the best bait they have tied on. And it's gonna get bit off by a pike in like two seconds. See, what does that look like? A little largemouth bahass. Gonna catch a big musky today. Good morning guys, we're out here today, actually with one of my buddies, Mr. Alex Kerr. Alex is in Michigan, trying to catch some big musky, doing some smallmouth fishing, so today, What's up guys? How are you? How's it going? We're gonna be doing a little competition. Best three fish for each boat. I have my buddy Nathan Durdowski, and then Me and Alex Sobe. has Sobe with him, and Mav's gonna fill. Mav might actually start pulling out a big musky bait and trying to catch some musky out here, yeah. if the day goes really, really well. A lot of these fish are offshore. A lot of the fish are a little bit deeper, and this is going down for sure. It's going down. It's about to get This out. is a musky bait that Mav says catches for muskies, but I've never seen Mav actually catch a musky before. He just has a lot of nice baits. So. Good bait collector. Good bait collector. How many of those baits have actually caught fish for you? Um, probably less than half. Maybe less than a quarter. Less than half. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully none of these baits on the back of their boat are gonna catch any fish, because I'm going out there with a jig, an A-rig, and a jig, and we're gonna catch them. Hopefully you guys catch a couple, but no big ones. Don't let them fool you. I, 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 I was digging through Ben's garage yesterday. I was digging through his boat. I was doing a little recon. Uh, Ben's a local around here, so I tried to pick his brain a little bit. Uh, uh, and I don't know, he's, he's got a few more baits than that tied on, so. So Sobe was right. I do have a couple other baits other than a jig tied up, but most of them are bottom baits. I have a one ounce wobble head with an easy swimmer on there. I have two balling out jigs, a uh, green pumpkin and black and blue, just kind of give me some variety there. A Nico rig, and then a big ol' A rig with a ton of blades, ton of stuff to draw on some big ol' largemouth bass. We're gonna be fishing some offshore stuff, some stumps, some little bit deeper water, big channel swings. That's where these bass were set up last weekend. Who knows, could be totally different today. What are we searching for today? Five pounder, if we catch a five pounder, will we be happy? I think we should shoot for six or seven. They're in here. We six. caught, what, a four and a half last time? Yeah. We, oh, it's gotta be six at least, at a minimum. I like your little hood. <laughs> I forgot my hat. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> E.T. when he's all wrapped yeah. up and he's gonna go home. I'm going home! Dude, that's cute. That is a good look. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I feel like I'm being judged. Just getting in the head. Three, two, one, blast off! Okay, first spot of the day. Now, to be fair, guys, we did give them some information to kind of help them. We were out here last week and they were out deep. Um, they might have totally changed. We might have given them information that's no longer good, but we gave them as much information and a couple ideas of spots as we possibly could. So we'll see. We don't want to come out here and just make it sound like we just screwed them over too much, but we definitely kept a couple things in our back pocket. So see how quick we can put a couple in the boat. It's funny because last week happened in quick progression. Like we sucked all day, and then in the last like hour and a half, we just caught a ton of fish. Mm -hmm. fish for sure. oh, that's big Dude, that was a musky. That was a giant. Oh. Dude, that was a big one. My gosh. That was probably a 15, 20 pound musky. Easy. Easy. That was a giant. Did you see the shoulders on that thing? No. I was looking at the Dude, graph. It was, no joke. It was probably about that wide. Oh. I mean, that was a big one. Oh my gosh. Came out of the water for it. Dude, my heart is racing right Dude, now. That was a big one. Holy cow. Okay, last cast. Oh, damn it. I might have broken off. I did. I don't know, something. So much for last cast. This guy has no game. I didn't get one. No pike or uh, something on that chatter base. I know. Huh? They're more than three foot of water. Are you... Two casts in a row, dude. Like, look, it's super clean, too. 
two casts in a row. I'm hoping it's a pike, I guess. I don't know. Either that fish has two jigs in the mouth or it's a tree and I just keep <laughs> or it's a sharp piece of metal. Put some jewelry on it. I'm trying to catch that fish so I can get all my jigs back. Third time's the charm. Yeah, whatever it is is big. It's a big old pike. Hey, do you have my other jigs? You got my jigs in there? <laughs> Are you the culprit? Took all my jigs? No, you don't have my jigs. You can go back. Thanks, bud. Thanks for playing. Well, spot one. Total, total, total bust. I lost a couple jigs to pike. Almost got a muskie, but I don't know if there are any bass on that spot. I don't know what these fish are doing. Just like I told you guys at the, in the intro, some of these fish might have moved off this deeper stuff, pushed up, back up into the cuts, uh, onto like the shallow cover, instead of in this like 16, 17 foot of water main lake stuff. Just saw Peric and Sobe. Those guys don't have a fish either. Um, but hopefully we're both gonna start catching them here pretty quick. Fish number one came on a jig, real, real shallow. Uh, There's a stump, and what I did is I pulled it off that stump, and that fish ate it on the backside, so side up current. I don't know how big of a factor that's going to be. Not a giant, but it feels good to get one in the boat at least. These dudes here. Spot poaching. See us catch a fish, and they come over. See, there's another two and a half that looks like a five. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he looks like a five, but he feels good. Right on that stump where he should have been. Ate the jig like he should have eaten. Need another. He's like a five pounder, though. <laughs> the only bait I can outfish Nathan on is a jig. Otherwise, Nathan catches way more than me, and I just go behind him and catch the big ones. Dude, it's so shallow. <laughs> Dude, they got really lucky. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Dude, you know what we needed? We needed those guys to drive by to stir up the bait. Apparently. too hard it's okay that's okay that's a sign they're where they should be i didn't know he came off otherwise i'd have reached a little bit harder like when he came off i thought like i didn't know he was off we just saw Peric and sam catch one so that means they have at least one i don't like giving them any sort of hope we gotta catch a big one and put them away. Oh, we yeah. got. Got you, Rob. Yeah. Thank you. Good work. That's what I live for. I live for re affirmation that I can pretend like I know what I'm doing. Wow. Good know. work. Beautiful. Big. Oh, that's dude, a, that's a fat one. Dude. Look at how fat that fish is. Oh, choked that jig, too. I mean, absolutely gone. Whew. 
That's going to put a little bit of distance there. Fish is so fat. He's pooping up cl claws too. Look at crawfish stuff. That feels so good. That is such a fat fish. Whew, good work, dude. Hello, you. Oh, good. Yeah, four and a half. Oh, so fat though. Like, so what there is, is there's a little down log right there. And I came over the backside of it, and when it was falling, that fish just picked it up. I didn't even have to, you know, like really do anything except to set the hook and reel her in. She choked that jig. I'm shaking. That's a big fish. That's the biggest largemouth I've caught in a long time. It's a good fish. Looks like we just caught another one. You and I are great at skipping one. It's absolutely unnecessary. Mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> no cover, nothing to skip under. Let's skip. You and I can both skip perfect. And we actually got to skip it up under something to like freeze up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It's like the best dock and we screwed up. Mm -hmm. Every yeah. time, we're so excited. Yeah, I think, I think that's what it is. We have three fish right now, go about eight pounds, which is gonna be good. I wanna catch at least one more really good one before we meet up with them. I'd like to catch two more. Yeah, one will make me feel real good, two will make me feel great. Yeah, that's okay. I think eight pounds is gonna be good, but it can be beat if they have three three pounders, so. One more big bite. gonna grab this fish out of here here's number two not a huge fish decent two maybe just over two pounder Ugh. gonna let him go this one's the fish of the day right there soup super short fish hold on you just got a little arm so that's the big fish of the day absolute giant fish but super super short we're gonna put it on a scale real quick. Zeros. <laughs> yeah, four, three. Hell yeah. So that's a good fish four right pounder. there. Four pounder right here on a jig. Just kept it in my hands. I think that our two fish, I didn't even catch one of the two fish. I think that our two fish are about are smaller than that. <laughs> we got beat by one fish. That's a nice one. Hell yeah, dude. Nice Good job, work, dude. dude. So that's pretty much our day. After we caught those three good fish, that four pounder, um, and those two, two and a half pounders, that pretty much ended it. Like our bite pretty much shut off. So I don't know if it had something to do with conditions, but I'm gonna chalk it up and say that the large mouth are slowing down for the year. So I'm going to be spending the rest of the year smallmouth fishing. How do you feel about this being probably our last time largemouth fishing this year? Um, I'd say I'm about over largemouth fishing for the year. It's been tough. Today was brutal. We tried everything. Tried all of our, our good spots, our bad spots, our good baits, our bad baits, and put a couple decent fish in the boat, but nothing like we were able to last time. So I guess it's farewell for largemouth for the year and on to the smallie time, I guess. And we're going to try to beat a seven pounder and a 30 pound bag. That's like that's our goals the goal. for the, goal. the fall. And that's our stretch goal. We want to catch a seven pounder. Granted, I haven't put a six pounder in the boat this year. He has. And uh, I want to catch a 30 pound bag, which would be like five, six pounders. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. What I was throwing was a half ounce balling out jig, black and blue trailer, 20 pound test line, seven one to one reel. And that's what all of my fish came on. That's one of those things I have confidence in. It's something that I know I can go out. And if I just keep it in my hand all day, especially for largemouth bass, I can get a couple bites and that's what we did. Thank you to Sam, Perrick, and Mav for coming up. Uh, ton of fun. Wish we could have got you guys on some a little bit bigger fish, but it was a lot of fun and I had fun beating them honestly. But <laughs> catch you guys later. Take care, tight lines. God bless.